Hey guys, so today I'm going to count down my top eight roller coasters at Bush Gardens Tampa. This is an amazing theme park located in Tampa, Florida, and they have some of the greatest coasters out there. But which ones do are, are my favorite or do they place? So let's start number eight. We have the Air Rover, which is just a kiddie coaster, so I don't have anything to say about this. So naturally this just it's coming last place. Number seven is the Sand Serpent, and if you all know me, I dislike Wild Mouses with all my heart, and this thing is just, it's horrible, it's so painful, so rough, I just, I hate this coaster. Definitely, like, the worst coaster I've ridden, probably. Just, I haven't ridden any Vacoma SLCs, but I know that's gonna be bad. I will, I am riding a Vacoma SLC this summer, and I'll, I'll try to survive it, so, good luck to me on that, but, anyways, um, this ride just... It's really just horrible. It's so jerky, so rough. I just, I hate it. It's also really sketchy. It's just, I do not like this. The next coaster is like by far superior to this, and that is Scorpion, which is in the same area of the park, Pantopia. And this ride is just a lot of fun. It is really just it's super intense for its age. It's seriously like forceful, and it's just oh my gosh, this thing is just so forceful. I mean, it's it's a family coaster, but the thing is, it's, just, it's so intense. Like, that helix at the end, that drunk guy helix, is just incredible. Plus, that vertical loop is fun. The lateral Gs are pretty intense. Just, overall, it's an intense coaster. It just blows me away every time I ride it. Plus, it's relatively smooth for its age. It's just, it's a fun coaster. I like it. Number five is Cobra's Curse, and... I love this ride. It is it's a great family coaster. Definitely by far the best spinning coaster I've ridden. I haven't ridden anything like Laugh Track yet or Crush's coaster in Paris, but I don't have any plans to go out of this or of the country yet. But anyways, this coaster it's it's a lot of fun. The elevator lift is really cool. The spinning part isn't all that much, but the hang time actually gets good. I'm not gonna lie about that. Hang time gets pretty awesome. Also the backward section's fun. It's just overall it's a fun coaster. I really enjoy Cobra's Curse. I when you go if you go to Bush Gardens, I highly recommend this. I highly recommend going at like one of the first rides you do because this ride does get long lines very quickly. Same with the other coaster. Number four is Cheetah Hunt. This definitely also gets really long lines as well. And this is definitely like my favorite family coaster. Period. This is definitely the best family coaster I've ridden. The launches are a lot of fun. The airtime can be better, but. I mean, also the intensity could be a little better too. It's kind of forceless, but it's a lot of fun. It's just, I love Cheetah Hunt. Definitely my top 20 for sure. It's just, the inversions also kick butt. Like, this is, of course, it's located in the park with the best inversions. Like, if you're talking about Kumba's Hell Roll or Montu's Batwing, this is like one of the best, has some of the best inversions. It just, Bush Gardens has some awesome inversions. But anyways, getting back to Cheetah Hunt, um, this ride is just awesome. The first launch, not so good. The second launch kicks so much butt. The third launch is okay, but it's just, this ride's a lot of fun. It's super long, though. That is what I love about Cheetah Hunt. It is seriously long. Like, this thing, it just keeps on going forever, and that's something I love about Cheetah Hunt. I'll be posting a POV on this soon so you can guys can see my reactions, but this coaster... Really good ride, great coaster. Not my favorite in the world, but definitely the, my favorite family coaster. But it probably is gonna be for a long time until I get like an insane family coaster. But but this is a coming into number four spot. Now we're at the top three, and we're in the B and M coasters. And the weakest B and M of the three at Bush Gardens, Shikra. This is the dive coaster, and the reason why I consider it the weakest is just. Not the most intense coaster, however, it does have some very forceful moments, so that's what I'm not gonna lie. After that ill minute goes through super intense helix, we can actually gray out, maybe even black out, I'm not gonna lie. I know some people who blacked out on this coaster. It's, it's It can be powerful at that point. Plus, that drop, oh my gosh, this drop is incredible. Like, in the back row, back row is like by far the best seat. You get so much airtime during the drop, it is incredible. Plus, also the second drop, you get a lot of airtime too. It's seriously just a fun roller coaster. No wonder why this thing is in my top 10. This ride is just so much fun, and I love Shikra. Every time I go to Bush Gardens, I make sure not to skip this coaster, because this ride is seriously fun. 
Now we're in the top two, and these are the ones that are known for... These two can be really controversial between coaster enthusiasts. Everyone's got their own different favorite between these two. But, and my number two spot is Montu. This is the B&M Invert. This is actually a lot of people's favorite coaster. But I have to disagree, and here's why. It's trimmed. It has a trim break right before the bat wing, and you can feel it. I mean, it's not. It doesn't really take away because this again, this is super intense. I'm not gonna lie. This is why I love it on too. It's how seriously intense it is. Like one thing I will say, that last inversion, holy guacamole! If you're in the back row, <clears throat> it will whip you through this inversion so hard. Like it whips you so much. It is incredible. Also, but that bat wing is my favorite part. It is so forceful, like that bat wing. It you can it'll numb your legs. That's what I love about Montu. It numbs your legs. No, I don't think I think no matter where you sit, it'll numb your legs. But the back row is a magic seat in this coaster. It's just I love this coaster. <clears throat> but I know also it's very smooth for its age. That's what I love. It's over twenty years old and it's still like I don't get a single head banging on this coaster. The, yeah, this really just runs super well, and that's what I love about Monsu. I mean, sure, it's just a tad shaky, I'm going to say, but for the most part, it's super smooth and intense. And number one coaster, you guessed it, Kumba. This thing, oh my gosh, I love this coaster so flipping much. Holy crap, this coaster, definitely the most intense coaster I've ridden. That, that's a fact. It just, you pull like so many G's on this thing. That helix, holy crap. That helix is insane. That helix is so insanely forceful. That tunnel is also incredible. The inversions are in just incredible too. This ride is just, it's incredible in general. Also like, that vertical loop. That vertical loop is really good, but <clears throat> the dive loop... <clears throat> really forceful in the back that zero g roll oh my gosh that zero g roll oh boy that zero g roll is literally the best it's commonly referred as the hell roll this is definitely the best zero g roll i've ever experienced by far i mean kraken comes really close to the best zero g roll however this thing this zero g roll will just feel like it will just rip your arms off also, that Cobra Roll is really fun. Not my favorite Cobra Roll in the world. I still think Hulk's Cobra Roll is just a bit better. And the interlocking corkscrews could be a bit better. They're a little rough, but it's just, it, it doesn't take away from it at all. It's so forceful. Call me stupid, but I think the zo or the roughness actually adds this ride. I just think the roughness kind of defies an old school B&M, and this is what Kuma is. It's an old school B&M, it's just... And I just love Kumba. I just, I can't never get enough of this coaster when I ride it. Definitely my favorite coaster at Busch Gardens. Not by far. We, yeah, again, Montu comes super close, but this is no exception. I just, I seriously love this thing to death. And that is it for Busch Gardens Coaster Countdown. What are your favorites? I know some people have different favorites. I know some people think this is the best. Some people think Montu is the best. Some people think Shiger is the best. Some people think Cheetah is the best. It just... There's a lot of people who think they have a different perspective, but this is my list. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.